This is a my bow. It's not my bow. So this is the my bow elite. My bow is a British company that make uh, compound bows and recurve bows and quite a few accessories. And the elite is the better of the recurve models they have, which the name would suggest. The elite is an aluminium riser. Uh, it weighs around 1300 grams. So it's a little hefty for a riser, but it's about right for aluminium and especially for those who like the feel and the feedback of an aluminium bow compared to carbon, the Elite is probably the typical aluminium riser and you'll probably really enjoy this bow. It's machined from a solid billet of 6082 aluminium, has stainless steel limb bolts, stainless steel stabilizer bushings and the normal bushings for sides, stabilizers and plunger buttons. Now, one thing that is very interesting is the color choices. Uh, while most bows have the standard glossy black, red, blue, and so on, the color scheme you get with the Elite is very nice. Um, you have royal blue, cherry red, and so on, but you get things like ice blue, which is like a cyan color. You have sonic silver, lizard green, which is this particular model, and orange blaze, and vivid violet, and midnight black. So you get quite a few. Um, interesting color schemes. I think if you want to have a bow which has a different color to most other risers, then this is actually worth looking at. I know many of you are, I suppose you can say, cosmetic buyers. The riser does come in a 25 inch and a 23 inch variant. Now the website uh, does advertise the MyBow Elite as a bow which breaks from the crowd and it's meant for people who aren't afraid to try something different. And I, I do agree actually, the bow doesn't quite look like most of the bows you're used to. Of course, as an IOF bow, uh, it does have the standard adjustments. Um, you can adjust the limb bolts uh, for a 10% difference in uh, draw weight. Uh, what's particularly interesting about the uh, MyBo Elite is the limb pockets. Uh, the limb pockets are quite well made. Um, and what's really fascinating is how the limb pocket adjustment can be done. Uh, by unscrewing the side screws, you can move the limb pocket and it has markings on the edge of the limb pocket which show the alignment, which is a very interesting feature. Uh, of course, it has the standard uh, bushings for the stabilizers in both the center, the top and bottom. So if you want to uh, customize your weight a bit more, then that's definitely possible. And the way they implement functional designs into the aesthetic is actually amazing. You have this streaky pattern across the top and bottom of the riser. And you have these um, pretty funky straight Nazca lines um, along the center of the riser. But these lines aren't just for decoration, they're clicker markings. Uh, one of the things with risers is that when you set your clicker, you don't always remember exactly where the clicker is. And a millimeter off will make a huge difference to your shot. So having these markings on the riser is functional and also fashionable. Below the grip, you can proudly see the British flag as well as the Mybo logo. You can get several different kinds of grip with the Mybo bows. This one is the wooden grip and it's actual wood. It's not plastic with wood finish. So if you want a natural wooden feel, this is perfect. And I do really like the two-tone grain with this particular grip. Um, and I do like how we have the uh, aluminium modern material along with the natural wood grip. I think it's a really nice combination. Uh, the grip itself is an intermediate style grip. So you have a fairly wide base and it's not too high angle or low angle, so it's right between there. Plenty of clearance for the thumb, so you can comfortably put your uh, hand around it. It doesn't really touch anything, which is great if you want to adjust your grip or um, hold your hand a certain way. And the front of the riser isn't really thick, so if you want to put your fingers around the riser or with one finger around, it works completely fine. Uh, so it doesn't feel awkward to hold. It feels quite nice. Um, and the aluminium bow is quite balanced, so it sits quite nicely in your hand. For the initial test, I'll be using 70-inch uh, kinetic bamboo limbs. These are fairly cheap limbs. Um, got to admit, it's got to be a little lighter than what I'm used to, but uh, let's put it in. Great fit there, clicks in really nicely, no issues of clearance. And the second limb. Perfect.
Now, as I already said, this Maya bow isn't Maya bow, and uh, gotta admit, the guy has a really funky color scheme. We've got um, a, a pink Shibuya arrow rest, we've got the lizard green riser, and we have this really cool uh, purple and black uh, string, so um, let's give it a shot. Now, just to make the uh, color scheme even funkier, I've got the classic Eastern Jazz purple arrows to go with the lizard green <laughs> riser and purple string. Uh, let's see how this shoots. Now, I'm not using a plunger, unfortunately, um, so it might not clear well, but I think these um, arrows uh, should be a fairly decent uh, tune for this bow, at least as it is. So let's give it a few shots and see how it goes. That was a beautiful shot. Of course, with the 22 pound limbs, it's going to be extremely light. Um, when you shoot 40 pound limbs and you get back to 20, it feels weird. It is definitely a very stable bow. I just want to stay in the hand. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not using a finger sling, by the way, but the bow just want to stay in the hand. It's a nice bear bow at the moment. That's nice. That's nice. There's a lot of uh, heft to this bow. It's not a heavy bow. It's, I mean, I shoot carbon mostly, so I prefer lighter risers, but a lot of people like the heavy feel, the, the, sta the stability of a uh, aluminium riser. I think this is definitely ticking that box. And especially when you're starting out uh, or an intermediate shooter, you'll probably benefit a lot from a stable bow, um, especially not using stabilizers, you're using just a bare bow. This is by itself a pretty fun bow to shoot. Definitely something you can be consistent with. After a few practice ends, um, my observation firstly is that it is a stable bow. I said it before already, but it feels good. Like you can point the bow at the target, you can go through your shot process, and the weight and balance of the bow is such that it's not gonna really turn on you. And as someone who's trained long enough to at least maintain a reasonably steady hand, it's actually quite easy to shoot well with this bow. Again, I'm using 22 pound limbs at very short distance, but with no other tuning and with just random club arrows, so I'm hitting gold very consistently. So it definitely passes that test. Uh, so yeah, first impressions are stable, sturdy, and a little heavy. Um, I do notice that I'm kind of exerting a bit to lift the bow up, and again, I normally shoot a light carbon bow uh, with stabilizers, so in general, it's heavier. Um, and this is, again, this is not a bad weight. It's not like I've had troubles with um, a dense aluminum riser. It is a balanced aluminum riser. And again, if you like that um, heavy feel, then the uh, My Bow Elite is going to be a good fit for your hand. But if this is your first bow, you will have to get used to uh, lifting that extra weight compared to a lighter riser. As usual, I normally find it pointless to show groupings, but it definitely passes the shoot in the general direction test. You can group with it. Once you get warmed up and you get used to the weight, it's okay actually.
Yeah, I'm just in the same spot over and over again. This, it works. And remember, accuracy is the user, not the bow. But when the bow feels good, and it helps you become accurate because it allows you to keep it stable, it allows you to hold on target, then that's a sign of a good design. And at the moment, it feels solid and balanced. I'm happy to shoot it. A little shaky there, but eh, it works. Starting to get a little tight on the front shoulder. Like I said, it's a little heavy. Um, not my uh, personal preference for a riser, but it is a little fatiguing to do this. But it's fine. It's only on the heavy side. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look, I can't fault the bow for shootability. Uh, the bow definitely allows you to group and shoot comfortably. Uh, look, like I said, I have no plunger button. It's not two, I'm using random club arrows and I can hit this gold all day. So it, it definitely is a bow which is functional. The design enables you to shoot with a good level of skill. And I think this is a, a good choice for an intermediate purchase. Uh, what I do like about it is its stability, its balance. Um, I felt I had full control of the shot all the way through and it just didn't want to like shake in my hand. It's very sturdy. Um, it doesn't have that, I feel, the inherent balance you might find in a more complex design. It just stays steady because that's just the weight of the bow. If there's a slight negative, it might be the weight of the bow. Um, I do find it's a little heavy. I get quite fatigued using it uh, on my bow shoulder. But like I said, um, a lot of people would like heavy bows and uh, if you like that feel and that weight and the stability, huge assets for the MyBow Elite. If you're a smaller frame person and you feel a little uncomfortable using a heavier bow in terms of bow weight, then uh, this might be something you should consider when purchasing it. But apart from that, this, this bow is just marvellous. Um, fun to shoot, looks really nice, great colour schemes, um, and uh, fun to shoot. Definitely something which is worth considering if you're looking to buy an intermediate bow. In a way, this is New Sensei. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.